Today we're going to be talking about some powerful stuff, guys. We're going to be talking about scientific notation here at How Radiology Works. So, that's scientific notation. And we call this powerful stuff because it's very valuable. You don't want to spend your whole life writing zeros behind numbers or zeros in front of numbers. So scientific notation helps save us a ton of time and helps be very clear about how we can express numbers, especially good for really big numbers or really small numbers. For radiologic technologists, for radiographers, a lot of the time you're going to be dealing with units that are kilovolts or milliamps and you want to know exactly what those mean. What does the kilo and milla mean in respect to the units that we're talking about? So at a high level, we're just talking about powers, powers of 10. So 10 to the N. And for 10 to the N, we're talking about, for instance, if you just have 10, 10 to the one, anything raised to the one is that same number, right? So that's just 10. And so this number here, if you think about it, if I start right here and I move one spot, I'll be behind the final digit I have. That's 10. If you have 100, if we do the same thing, 10 squared is 100. And one, two, so the same thing. Again, 10 to the third is a thousand. One, two, three. And likewise, just I'll do 10 to the six. This is one we frequently do. That's six zeros there. So one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. The same thing if we do 10 to the minus one. Zero point one, ten 10 to the minus 2, 0 0.01, 10 to the minus 3 is 0 0.001. So you get the idea here. We're talking about 1, 2, 3 movements of the decimal. That's the same as the power. If it's positive, we're adding zeros behind that number. And if it's negative, if our exponent here is negative, then we have zeros in front of that one. So a high level, that's all scientific notation is. Then we wanna know the abbreviations that we use when we talk about these powers. So the multiplier that we have, let's switch over. We have a multiplier and we have a prefix. And we have an abbreviation. So in the same spirit as we're talking about here, we'll, we'll start big and then go small. So 10 to the ninth, the prefix is giga and the abbreviation is just a big G. So if you say how big is your hard drive, you're going to be talking about gigabytes. That's 10 to the ninth. 10 to the sixth is mega with a big M. 10 to the third is the example I gave before, kilovolts. So that's just kilo. And then we don't use hecto as much. And there's more intermediate ones, but I'm only listing the ones that we use more frequently. So 10 to the minus 2, then on the other side, when we're talking about things that are smaller, this is centi. So centimeters is a frequent one that we're using because a lot of times we're talking about units of centimeters because it's things that are on the scale of us, you know. And then millimeters is milla is 10 to the minus 3. 10 to the minus 6 is micro. 
And then 10 to the minus 9th is nano. So at a high level, we've talked about the prefixes. So we're going to be able to go over that, talk about what it means. Let's just do a couple examples quick. So for instance, if we talked about blue light, blue light has found my blue. Blue light has an energy of three electron volts. That's for blue light. So if we wanted to write that in units of kilo electron volts, what would we have to do? We're used to talking about kilo electron volts when we talk about the X-ray energies, but blue light is just three electron volts. So how could I convert that to kilo electron volts? So kilo is 10 to the third. So I need to multiply by 10 to the minus three. So if I have three and I do one, two, three, so zero, zero, and then, so it's 0 0.003. So again, one, two, three, that's how we would convert three EV to K KEV. This is less useful, obviously, because now the, the number is actually less easy to write. But I just wanted to give that as an example because a lot of times we're talking about KEV for our X-ray energies and EV here is what we have to start with. You want to come up, Luca? Do you want to be in my video? All right. You can come on up and say hi. Okay. Look straight ahead at the camera, straight in there. Oh, yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Then the last problem, we want to do just one more problem to finish off. Now that Luca has stepped out of the frame a little bit, the final problem is going to be, imagine if we have 140 kil kilovolts. So we want to convert 140 kilovolts. We want to convert that to volts. So again, we're talking about 10 to the third, but now we need to add those units so that we can get volts because the kilo is what we're starting with and we want to end up with just a volt. So we just add three more zeros, one, two, three, and we get 140 kilovolts is 140,000 volts. So again, this is why it makes more sense to write this number as kilovolts than writing 140,000 volts. So just in general, what we've talked about today is scientific notation, how it's very valuable for you as a radiographer or a technologist to understand how scientific notation works. Appreciate your time. Make sure and smash that like button and hit subscribe below if you want more content like this. And we have a lot of content focused on radiographers and how you would pass your ART exam best way possible.